Hey guys, it's the plant doctor. What I want to do today is a product review on using image for poana grass control. Um, I've got a small area in my yard where the uh, pre-emergence didn't really do their job. I'm starting to think that I've got some uh, uh, prodiamine resistant poana grass. I sprayed it last year. I was like, well, I think I missed a spot, hit it again this year, and POA popped up in the same spot again. Uh, but normally I use atrazine. I'm out of atrazine for my POANA. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, this is rated for POANA grass. Okay, so the active ingredient here is going to be uh, a mazaquin. With this product, we're going to mix it at a rate of two and a half ounces per gallon of water all right so i'm going to mix up three gallons of product i'm going to spray some in my yard and uh i have a family member that lives next door i'm going to go over there they've got a few little spots i'm going to spray as well um, and, and we're going to take care of this poana grass using image instead of atrazine so let's let's go around to the side yard and uh let's let's take a look at how we're going to put this out As you can see here at my feet, we've got a little patch of POA that has popped up in the yard here. Um, it's a typical area where you would expect to find POA. This is a high traffic area where the camera sitting is actually where my trash can sits. So the trash can gets rolled back and forth right here. Uh, so I'm not all that surprised to see a little bit of POA pop up here. One thing we want to mention about using image, uh, amazequin, when using it for poa control it is not taken up vegetatively so if you've ever used a product like trimec uh, you spray over the top and that products taken up vegetatively this is going to be taken up by the root okay so if you have an adjustable wand sprayer you don't want a real fine mist like that what you want is something a little more straight and direct maybe even a little more than that, something like that. And what I like to do is get right down at the base of the POA, put enough product down to where it's gonna be able to soak into the ground a little bit and be taken up by the roots. If you just spray over the top with a mist, you're probably not going to get very good results. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go through here and spray some of this. We're gonna come back in three weeks and we're gonna look at this patch of grass and we're gonna see the results that we got by using this product. All right, so it's, it's three weeks later and what I wanted to do is show you how this product has worked. This is a little piece of POA here. This is a piece of POA here. There's some right there. It's done a pretty good job. There's some more over here around this piece of moss. There's some POA. There's some POA, it's dead. There's some more. This one, I don't know if I didn't get enough spray on it or what, but you can see there's some dead leaves on it. But it, it did come back a little bit, but I, I'm thinking that's more of not getting the drench like we needed it. So remember, this is not a foliar uptake. This is gonna be more along the lines of getting down enough product on the root zone so that it can be taken up via the roots and so it's done a decent job. So my personal opinion on using image for POA control did a decent job. I don't think it's as good as atrazine, uh, but here again, this is just basic anecdotal. I did not run a, a peer reviewed experiment. I, I did some reading up while I was thinking about this video, I did come across something that the University of Georgia Extension did on polar grass control. I'll try to link that paper down into the description here, but uh, they did run a peer reviewed uh, assessment of this and their conclusions were consistent with what I saw. Uh, atrazine is really good, image is fair. So uh, it works, it takes some time, it takes about three weeks. Uh, so if you've just got a, a few little patches of POA you need to take care of and you're in a pinch and you, you, you don't want to go all the way down to the uh, home and garden center 
to pick up some atrazine, you got this on hand, and you're willing to be patient, this is a decent product to use for your post-emergent poa grass control. Guys, as always, thank you for watching The Plant Doctor. It means a lot to us here on the channel. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for the subs. Uh, we're like right at 2,000 subs already, and, and that's, that's really cool to see. Until next time, happy gardening, and this is The Plant Doctor.